Hi, I'm Marlon Moraes, and you are watching the World Series of Fighting on NBCSN. We have reached the main event here in Pennsylvania. The Bantamweight champion, Marlon Moraes, 26 years of age, 5'6". He weighed in just over 146 pounds. His opponent, Cody Bollinger. Here are the rules. 10-point must system is in effect based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No knees or kicks to the head of a grounded opponent as we set it inside to Jazz Sekiro. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the next level and the future of mixed martial arts today on a global scale. It's the World Series of Fighting, and it's time for your main event of the night. It is sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. And now live from the Sands Casino Resort in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, are you ready? It's about to go down for everybody in the building and those watching live at NBCSN. Somebody make some noise! Your main event is brought to you by Autoshopper.com. Five rounds of the World Series of Fighting catch weight of 147 pounds. And now, introducing on the blue side, his record, 16 wins, two defeats. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing 147 pounds. Fighting out of Rancho Cucamonga, California, by way of High Desert, California. Introducing the Cali Cowboy, Cody Bollinger. And now his opponent on my left. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, his record. 13 wins, four defeats, one draw. Standing five feet, six inches tall. Also weighing 147 pounds. Fighting out of Palm Beach Garden, Florida by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is the undisputed, reigning, defending World Series of Fighting Bantamweight Champion of the World, presenting Marlon. Your referee is Dan Mergliotta. Cap Kelly gets things started off for our main event of the night. Marlon Marias taking on Cody Bollinger. And just to point out, this is actually a catch weight bout as Bollinger takes the fight so on short notice, unable to really get down it. to the proper weight for the bantam weights in the 140s. So it becomes a catch weight bout. So even if Marias would lose to Bollinger, he would not technically lose his belt. But he said, if Cody beats me, I'll give him the belt. Wow. So here we go. Nice little check there from Bollinger. Ooh, nice little double cut there also. Both so if you're Cody side. Bollinger, boss, and you've watched a lot of tape of Marlon Moraes, and it's been very impressive tape to watch indeed, how do you attack this guy? You know, it's like I said, you, you need to lure this guy in. You need to throw something on purpose slow. And then if he comes with the counter, you put that in your back pocket, so to say, and then a minute later you throw that same slow punch again. Hopefully he counters the same, and you counter that counter. Those watching at home, knowing that Cody Bollinger takes the fight on less than two weeks' notice. It's a very talented fighter. It's not like he was sitting around eating Captain Crunch on the couch. He's a pretty good fitness young man, and he's coming on two wins in the World Series of Fighting. Wins over guys like Tyson Nam and, of course, Pablo Alfonso at World Series of Fighting 11. But to prepare for the champ and Marlon Moraes and how multifaceted and how fast he is, boss, you probably need a little longer than 12 days to get that done. Preferably, but the other thing that takes it out of the equation is that he's, you know, it's a no lose situation for him. Yeah. You know, if he can't do these five rounds, that's already a victory by itself. And most of the time, guys who are relaxed and come in with nothing to lose do really well. He looks really calm to me. Moves around, stays nice outside the range. Oh, there he throws that kick again in the beginning. It absolutely missed, but this time it connected. Not hard, but it might stress your opponent out. Just enough to make him, you know, start loading up his punches, get frustrated. Marlon Reyes comes in on a seven-fight win streak, 5-0 in the World Series of Fighting. Two-time national champion in Brazil in Muay Thai, brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and to Ricardo Almeida. That was a nice kick to deliver. You know, it's a nice thing to do when your opponent moves to, from you, for you, to the left, catch him with a little kick. He walks straight into it. I actually did that with uh, yeah. Randleman. Bollinger in a little bit of trouble there, went to the 
foot of Marias as he was going away and he got caught. And now he finds himself in a really bad position for those thinking that, well, Marlon Marias is a striker and that's where I can fight him. Eh, not so much. No, he's also, of course, great on the ground, but so is Bollinger. You know, and Bollinger needs to get him in the guard right now. If I were him, skip the hips away. That's what he's working on. See, there we go. He's working already. He needs him in the guard. He works for a half guard first. There we go. Nice. Boss, where do you put Marlon Marias in the world of Bantamweights, in the entire world of MMA? Not just World Series of Fighting. We're talking UFC, Bellator, everyone. Well, I put him at uh, seven, eight in the top ten list right now. Feels pretty confident coming to this fight, saying that he feels like he can beat anybody in this class at this time, including the likes of Jose Aldo and Hayden Barral. Throw out some big names there. Yes, I did. Oh, connected there with the left too. Look at that. That is some slick defense. Yeah, that's the the, the, the generalship I said again. You know, the, the like a matador. Yeah. The way he moves, he almost doesn't even have to push the head down. He just moves out of the way. The one thing you'll notice about Mara Moraes, whether it's a three-round or five-round fight, he rarely, and we have rarely seen him get tired. Yeah, stamina is a big deal for any fighter. I think once you have the basic, the basic techniques down, stamina is the number one factor. You can never have too much stamina. Doesn't exist. The guy who can keep on pushing, keep on pushing. You know, very hard to deal with guys like that. Rise is not one of those guys that's going to come out and blitz you in the first round, and he'll take what you give him. You know, I remember mm -hmm. your Uriah Faber back in the Hades of the WEC when he would come out and absolutely just shock and awe his opponent in the first 60 seconds, where they're like, what just hit me? Rise a little more control on that. He just kind of, he'll take what the guy gives him. And right now, he's not seeing the openings that he wants for Bollinger, so he's patient, shows a lot of maturity in waiting his, his opponent out. Yep, he's, he's just trying to detect everything. If he makes a certain move before he let, uh, goes for a punch. Makes a certain move before he goes to a takedown or for a kick. You know, start learning his game. Oh, oh, set up the rack kick. Is that liver kick again? The second time it's landed cleanly. That crazy front kick also is the second time for uh, Bollinger. Bollinger. That that. And it's weird how he throws it. It's almost with his legs yeah. stretched up. It's powerful. Final 10 seconds here of round number one. This one's scheduled for five. We'll be back to Pennsylvania for round number two live on NBCSN. Cody Bollinger taking the fight on less than two weeks' notice gets through the first round of five. As in between rounds, we had an opportunity to listen into his corner and the instructions they gave their fighter. Deep breath. Ah, deep breath. Deep breath. Get some on us in there. Um, keep picking and poking at him. Big bombs get into the clinch. When he tries to break the clinch, elbows and knees, bro. Those things will hit him. He ducks his head like crazy, and he's short. All right. Morris stands 5'6", Bollinger 5'10". So trying to take advantage of some simple mm -hmm. geometry there. You like what you hear, boss? Yeah, I do. I do. I, uh, I like to see him throw more kicks also, but set it up. You see, Mraz's speed, is, it, it, it's hard to deal with. Well, look at that. It's wow. Just, well, yeah. That quick left caught Bollinger, and now he's in a bit of trouble. Yeah, and it was almost behind the head. Mike Tyson used to hit like that. 
Look at this. Marlon just controlling the head of Bollinger, making sure he doesn't get caught in anything, and now looking for some openings. Yeah, you control somebody's head, you control the whole body. Now, Bollinger knows that he cannot roll onto his belly right now. He's got to watch Not out. Not a lot of yeah. options. He's got to really watch out for the rear naked choke. And meanwhile, you look at Moraes, he's just trying to figure this thing out. He's looking on, well, do I choke him? Is this it's, deep enough? And it looks no, no, pretty no, no, no. good. It's not. Choking down on Bollinger, trying to drop his chin. Nope. Wow, it's really tight. It's getting really, yes, he's That's it, that oh. is it. How do you like it? Marlon Moraes. Boss, you can't say that came out of nowhere because he started things off with that left that caught Bollinger, drops him to the ground, and then he just goes to work. I mean, it was it was methodical the way he was looking for the submission. Yep, that's what happened. Dazed him. See, and Bollinger knows. He knows he cannot be in that position, but he can, well, still pull it up. Yep. It's in a... Real, real naked side choke, <laughs> if you can call it that, because he's like almost 90 degree on his body, see? He's not, it's not a real naked. No, it's a, a side naked. naked. It's side naked, that's what I mean. It's not Thank an RNC, you. but an SNC. It's an SNC choke. Great piece of work by Marlon Moraes and his camp. Give credit to Cody Bollinger again. We can't stress enough getting this fight on such short notice, dropping a lot of weight just to make this a catch weight bout. But in the end, he just no match for Moraes. His speed and for all the things that he threw at him. We'll be back to the Sands Casino when we return live on NBCSN. This is World Series of Fighting 13. Back at the Sands Casino, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, at the conclusion of the catchweight bout in the Bantamweight division. It's Marlon Moraes ending things in the second round against Cody Bollinger. And now go inside. Jasakiro has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a rear naked choke at 1 minute 35 seconds of round number two. Your winner, Marlon! So Marlon gets the victory. We'll be back to chat with the champ.